Hello there. Good morning. My name is Niladri. Today we are going to discuss about the GSM link budget. So this topic is really helpful for the RF engineers, for the BSS engineers, and for planning engineers specifically those who want to pursue their career in uh, RF planning or basic uh, telecommunication planning. So to start with, we need to understand uh, the link and the calculation of the link budget, like starting from the transmitter, the medium and the receiver end. So I think this chapter is going to be very crucial for you. Uh, initially, we need to understand the terminology and the concept and the approach towards uh, link budget in uh, GSM or the 2G system. And uh, moving on, we'll discuss each parameters used in link budget to calculate the exact losses, gains, margins, and uh, you know the EIRP and other factors and uh, other parameters related to link budget. And uh, another reason why we uh, need to understand link budget and uh, to know link budget is uh, after the calculation of the path loss, the exact path loss in uplink and downlink. After the calculation of the link budget, uh, this path loss would, would help us uh, to determine. Uh, uh, the uh, cell radius in each of the uh, environmental and the uh, you know uh, clutter conditions like dense urban or medium urban or suburban or even rural or highways or some community of interest. So uh, through link budget, we'll be able to find out the exact path loss in uplink and downlink. Uh, so after getting the exact path loss, we can fine-tune our uh, planning tool like uh, for getting uh, the simulation results also we will be requiring uh, the sale radius so to determine the sale radius in various uh, uh, cluttering conditions like uh, medium urban, dead urban, suburban, uh, suburban low vegetation uh, rural and highways or for some special community of interest or some island sites, uh, we determine the exact sail radius and uh, we fine tune our uh, uh, planning uh, requirements also. So, that is one of uh, the reasons to understand the link budget and to get the path loss in uplink and downlink. So, let's start. So, I'm having a small picture here to uh, you know. Uh, summarize the concept of uh, link budget here we are having the transmitter or the antenna end and uh, normally from transmitter we have the transmit power the passive attenuation antenna gains then we are having the medium the air interface or the uh, you know air media when we are having path loss we are having penetration loss we are having fading we are having body loss, we are having other system interference or some external interference or maybe own cell interference also. Then at the transmitting end, we are having transmitting, uh, you know, receiving antenna again. We are having passive losses, we are having noise figure and we are also having the SNR uh, or signal to noise ratio or sometimes signal to interference and noise ratio uh, requirements. So that's all about the overall concept of the link budget why we use link budget because of two reasons one is quantifying the link performance here and you know uh, to know the link budget exactly we need to understand the transmitting and the receiving end and the media and all the uh, you know losses gains and uh, all the parameters and uh, uh, some important stuff like uh, uh, receiving and transmission end interference body loss fading more specifically the radio behavior like sometimes we do not add uh, reflection diffraction so all this stuff we can consider here in the link budget then we are having another picture which shows how normally we calculate the link budget so this is the trans transmitter uh, this is the cable connecting to the antenna so the terminology is like the transmitter details, the transmission, like what is the transmit power of the transmitter. Then we are having cable, combiner or the connector losses. Then we are having 
the EIRP or uh, it is also called as uh, the effective isotropic radiated power. In the receiving end we are having the receiving antenna, the cables and the uh, receiver so we can uh, you know assume that this is a node B and on this side we are transmitting from a mobile or base station, uh, mobile station and sometimes we can also calculate this is a transmitter or the uh, BTS transmitter and the other end is the receiver or the MS. So assuming it is a receiver of uh, BTS, we are having uh, you know cable losses and other losses, receiving antenna gain and the uh, you know receiver sensitivity and other parameters. So that's all about the concept. If I'll explain you how the link budget work with an example, I would say. Uh, we can start with uh, uh, you know, a 43 dBm uh, transmitting power of the node B. Then we can add the antenna again, typically 18 uh, dVi or 17 or you know 20, whatever you are using. Then we are having the cable losses, we are having combiner losses and the connector losses added to it. Then we calculate the effective EIRP, effective isotropic uh, radiated power at the transmitting end. Then we are having various, you know, uh, radio behavior and the uh, medium actually, the medium behavior, then we receive to the receiving end. So during the uh, uh, radio path, we can experience path loss. We can experience penetration loss. There are many penetration loss, like, uh, you know, building penetration loss in different uh, categories, like for dense urban, the value is different for medium of one uh, the value is different and for the server ones there are different values starting from uh, 15 db to you know uh, 10 db or 8 db in suburban areas so uh, building penetration loss then we are having um, fading so we are having a small scale and a large scale fadings we are having shadowing and uh, diffraction also in the radio then we are having uh, the body loss at the receiving end we may experience a body loss up to 2 to 3 dB then we are having the interference interference from bone cell uh, from other frequencies or some external interference we can experience moving forward we can also have uh, receiver uh, behaviors like uh, receiving antenna again then we are having passive uh, losses and you know we are having noise figure at the receiver end then uh, the you know receiver sensitivity and finally uh, the SNR or the signal to noise ratio requirements for each kind of services so that's about all about the basic uh, understanding and the basic parameters used in a link budget why we calculate link budget another reason is to have a minimum uh, you know difference between the uplink and the downlink budget so that there wouldn't be any kind of path imbalance uh, in uplink and downlink so that's another reason why we calculate link budget so i think uh, this is all about um, the link budget and the you know uh, the approach and uh, the basic understanding of why and how it is calculated uh, in the next session we'll be having uh, each uh, parameters and the description and the values used for GSM like the transmitting power, uh, the receiving power and uh, you know the cable losses you know normally for 100 meter it's a 2 dB loss we calculate combiner loss and body loss and how the uh, you know media uh, you know the medium uh, margins are calculated losses and gains so we'll, so we'll have a detailed discussion on all the margins losses and gains transmitting power and other details in the next session uh, that is all for today so i think uh, we will uh, summarize again why we calculate link budget is to quantify the link performance and uh, you know, in link budget, we calculate all the losses, gains, and margins, specifically the transmitter, the receiving end, and the medium. Uh, so that's how we use link budget.
then in the link budget what is the basic approach and basic uh, you know understanding of link budget the transmitter and the receiver end so we calculate the transmitting details losses and gains the receiving details losses and gains and you know uh, requirements then we are having uh, the medium or in the air medium what all uh, you know radio behavior we capture and how it is going to affect our link performance in terms of fading or body loss or interference or penetration loss or the path loss so that's all about uh, the basic understanding of the link budget in the next session we'll be coming with uh, all the parameter description along with a typical uh, example of a link budget in uplink and downlink both scenarios thank you so much for watching this video do subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more updates never forget to like and uh, share let's keep in touch in the next video thank you so much bye bye